today let's talk about supplementation in pregnancy in pregnancy there is increased need for certain vitamins and minerals for the welfare of the mother and the unborn baby let me give you a quick tip to improve your understanding of pregnancy if pregnancy is divided into three trimesters we have the first trimester which is between the first and the third month the second trimester which is between the fourth and the sixth month and the third trimester which is between the seventh and the ninth month in each trimester there is an increased need for certain vitamins and minerals and in this video i'll be covering the most important vitamins and minerals that are recommended for pregnant women first let's talk about iron and iron is important for formation of blood in pregnancy, there is need for increased blood volume to meet the needs of the fetus, the placenta, the umbilical cord, and also it prepares a woman for the blood loss during delivery. Daily iron supplementation should be done as a pregnant woman needs up to 25 milligrams of iron per day. This supplementation is most important in the second and third trimesters. Iron-rich foods such as nuts, dried fruits, liver, and beetroot should also be taken. Secondly, I'll be talking about folic acid. And folic acid is essential in synthesis of DNA and RNA, and this makes the basis for protein synthesis. A pregnant woman needs up to 0.8 mg of folic acid daily. Taking folic acid decreases your risk of neural tube defects such as spina bifida and anencephaly in the children that are born. These defects can result in stillbirths or even serious disabilities when the baby is born and they may continue throughout adulthood. The folic acid should be taken on your first trimester during organogenesis. Since most women fall pregnant without knowing and may take time to discover the pregnancy, it's advisable for all women of childbearing age to take at least 0.4 mg of folic acid daily. Folic acid rich foods can also be taken, which include green leafy vegetables, avocados, pumpkin seeds, and red meat. I'll also be talking about calcium and calcium is important in mineralization of the fetal bones. It should be taken in the third trimester when bone mineralization is greatest. A pregnant woman should take 1,200 milligrams of calcium daily. Calcium can also be found in calcium rich foods such as dried fruits, milk, cheese, and yogurt. Also, let's talk about iodine as it is important in the fetal brain and nervous system development. Iodine is also important in the woman's thyroid function, which is important for growth and metabolism of both the mother and the child. It should be taken in doses of up to 150 micrograms and this should be done in the second trimester. The use of iodized foods and salts is also recommended and decreased iodine may result in stunted growth in infants or it may even lead to infants born with several mental disabilities. The omega-3 fatty acids have also be been found to be very beneficial as they decrease the risk of preterm births and low birth weight babies. One thing you need to note is that the best time to take prenatal vitamins is actually before conception so that your body actually prepares itself for pregnancy.